Today, we're talking about David Dobrik. A very well-documented piece of trash. Dane, do you know who David Dobrik is? Uh, no. Well, good for you. Uh, he is an influencer. <laughs> he's got a, he's, he's a YouTuber and influencer. He's got like over 17 million subscribers on YouTube. Wow. Uh, the last time he posted a video was in March 2022. Uh, he's got 10 million followers on Instagram. He's got over 25 million followers on TikTok. You know, over 7 million on Snapchat. He's, you know, he's big deal. Big deal content creator, right? Okay. Uh, he, he was a Vine before he was YouTube, and uh, then he, st he started to vlog on YouTube in 2015, I think. I think da David Dobrik is, is most known for being like the leader of, uh, of the Vlog Squad. If you guys know the Vlog Squad, right? And at, at the peak of their popularity, they had over 19 million subscribers on YouTube. But they're down to 17 because some things happened, right? Mm. Some stuff went down, <laughs> you know? And uh, we're going okay. to okay. we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of go over like the history, but the content involved uh, a, lot of, a lot of pranks, uh, and a lot of it really boiled down to instances of sexual harassment. Uh, there were a rape happened. Uh, there's a whole, there's a whole article about uh, ex exploitation, that uh, exploitation of people under the influence. Uh, and then there's bullying, uh, and, and almost someone was almost killed. Jeez. Um, there was a video where they got s some college girls drunk and they were pushing for, you know, oh yeah, you know, get with these girls. Yeah. Yeah, they're so drunk, you know, and it's it's pretty disgusting. Like, and it's Trisha Paytas. I, get, I think she was part of the vlogs of the vlog squad back then. She came out and alleged that they weren't even old enough to drink at the time. You know? Oh gosh. Yeah, like here's like like here's a a thing about it. Like David Dobrik says he he couldn't see how an expl explosive vlog squad allegation was connected to him, even though a lot of their videos are everybody being drunk and he's like seemingly the sober one with the camera pushing people to do things for content you know it couldn't be anything wow. to do with him you know and and a lot of the the, the previous oh, members of vlog squad they've they've come forward and they've shared their stories and it, it, it's it's pretty rough but the one we're gonna be focused on today is what happened to jeff uh wittek i think i say his name wittek w-i-t-t-e-k so what happened to Jeff is actually we got a video of it. I'll show it to you. So they are, they're out here in the water. They have a, an excavator and they're slinging people around oh, with a rope and they are slinging that dude. Oh! Oh! oh. Suddenly stops. Dave is the one driving. Uh, they've been out here kind of slinging people and like, you know, they got like a the little thing where you put your foot in. Like right now his foot's stuck in it and he's underwater. Don't worry. He survives. Oh. We'll get to it. But... Uh, from what I was reading and what he's talked about, the impact of him hitting there, it, like cracked his skull. He's had to have eye surgery, his hip. Like he, he's, he was jacked up after this, right? Dude, that was a loud noise. In the water upside down. Everyone's like, holy crap. They rush out. They get his head above water. Uh, and they, and they call the ambulance, right? They, so this is like the big incident that happened. <sighs> Jeez. And it's, it's like, you know, a YouTube video be crazy. It's going to excavate out there. They got like the, the big one too, right? You know, this, this is like the, the serious job site one. Right. And they're slinging people around. David Dobrik is a YouTuber, so we already know by default that he's a complete idiot. Because what happens when you're slinging someone really fast like that, the rope is about the length from there to here, and you stop. What is going to happen? You know, you, you, obviously, if you want to sling them around fast and give them a scare and you slow down... No, but suddenly stop. Yeah, it's just like, dude. Why, bro? Yeah, so that's, uh, mm, 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 mm. There's also a, another video about, uh, uh, Jeff, I think, talking about it here. Corinna gets on it, and then David starts moving it. It's like, this shot looks so sick. This looks beautiful. She's good, she's good. So this is the, he's, uh, I think Jeff's the one talking, and she, you know, he's swinging this girl around. That's like kind of first, their first go, right? Nothing too crazy. It's, it's slipping down. And it starts falling down, and Corinna's like, oh, what the f***? Put me down, put me down. You take things too far. She's like, you take things too far, David. Yeah, she's like mad about it, and she's taking too far, and you can hear him like laughing. Oh, my God. Oh, my YouTuber. You are <laughs> wow, that's you know. great. Let me What's go. What's the worst that could happen? So then he hops on, you know? He's like, all right, you know what? My turn. If I swing from That seems super safe, you know? Yeah, Lapse why? in judgment. Again, they're content creators. They're all pretty brain dead, but still. Still a victim, right? So, so I grabbed the f***ing rope, and I tried to make a goddamn funny video for people. But this is where I made a mistake. I forgot that the biggest f***ing idiot I know was driving it. Oh, 
shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like the the other the other camera angle right from inside. So God. that's that's what that I forget. Oh, this happened years ago too. This was uh, it was 2020 when this happened. 2020. <clears throat> so this is, yeah, 2020 when this happened. Jeff was quiet about it. He didn't like nothing came out immediately, and he kind of believed uh, Dobrik would help pay for surgeries and remain his friend. Uh, and he began speaking out once he realized that Dobrik had spun a narrative that he himself was the victim in this case, and and <laughs> even made a claim that it was it was uh, Jeff who was at fault. So we got a video. Real reason I was mad. It's going to come out publicly in a month anyway. But David filmed the documentary, and the producer of the documentary creator of the documentary the, this guy right this is jeff he's got like a kind of like he's still got his own channel kind of just like this podcast kind of show director whatever you want to call it he called me facetimed me to show me the clip of the interview when david addressed the situation with the crane and he said that it was my fault so we all know that jeff <laughs> so we got that clip where he says it says it was his fault uh and then two years later david dobrik apologized oh two years later David Dobrik has finally apologized for his part in the crane accident that gave Jeff Wittick life-altering injuries. But Jeff says it's too little, too late. I'm not going to beat you up anymore. I'm just going to take this the right way, the smart way, and just let the courts decide. Making a lot of statements here that are very untrue, that are so easy to disprove. It just sucks how badly you fumbled this. I wish we were both better communicators. Bro, it's two years in, okay? That day is like the worst thing that's ever happened to me. I'd do anything to take that day back. <laughs> It's the worst thing that's ever happened. Poor David. Jeff got his skull caved in over here, and David's like, oh, that, that was so difficult for me. Oh, yeah, my worst gosh. thing that ever happened to me. Oh, boy. Well, I don't know if I'll ever recover from his accident that he had, that I caused. Yeah. So uh, in June 2022, uh, Jeff filed a lawsuit against Dobrik for $10 million in damages, right? Okay. And uh, that's on this website here to where you can like kind of scroll through the court document. It doesn't like say what the what the injuries were, like, kind of skimming through it. But uh, yeah, he's suing him. And that's I don't know if that's gone anywhere. I haven't I don't I'm not too sure since that was two years ago. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's still in courts. So I'm not too sure. I mean, for life altering um, injuries, you know what I'm saying? Plus surgery costs and all of that. And yeah, not saying nothing and denying it for two years. Dude, it's that's wild. 10 million sounds about at least, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, at yeah. least compensate the man, you know? Well, this is just one instance, right, too. Like, this is like, uh, it's a very big thing. But then there's like all the other, like the the, the allegations and like the girl that come out about the like the, the group sex thing and she talked about it. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's all that stuff as well, which is a big deal. Um, but the reason we're talking about this today is because uh, a few days ago, Old Jeff was on um, was on TikTok or not TikTok on Twitter, excuse me, and he says, "Yo, at Snapchat, you're paying a guy that smashed my skull in for a prank and left me with lifelong injury injuries. He also filmed and organized multiple sexual assaults. That's why I stopped posting. I don't want blood money, and because uh, now David Dobrik is on Snapchat. Snapchat is he's partnered with them, and he goes around making snaps all the time to promote them." That's kind of wow. that's what he does now, and apparently, like, apparently, he's making a crap load of money too. But really, yeah. And so Snapchat, they they message him back and they say, "Hi, can you please DM, uh, like send us a DM and we can try to help." And he responds back, "His name is David Dobrik and he's traveling the world, partying on your dime while I have another surgery next month." Ooh, wow, man is mad. Wow, <laughs> which I like. Dude, he's I, in I pain. feel like rightfully and so. He's, yeah. he's wants to like just end this dude's career, and it's it's kind of it's the. It's a very good example of why I am super selective of like who I become friend, like real, like try to be friends with in in the the content creator spaces because there's David Dobrik's everywhere. That's uh, crazy too. That's there's crazy. all these people that will that, that will that want content. It's all about the, like them and like them looking good. And it's, he's almost he's like pretty much to the point to where like all these athletes create like. The sexual harassment and, and the, all these rape allegations and stuff, and then you know, putting a dude in the hospital, and he's still just out there doing his thing, you know? Right. No, no answering for anything or to anyone. You know what I'm saying? Just you gotta pay a little money. Go and <laughs> matter of fact, making you know, more money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, can you imagine how much Snapchat's paying him? Like, he's not Matt making YouTube videos. I don't. I don't he's know snaps. if he's. Yeah, he, he just like full full time all in on the Snapchat. 
Like, oh, we got this David Dobrik, like two million subscriber YouTube guy. We got him. He's our content creator now. They had to pay him. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just yeah. like, man, dude. There's a lot of allegations. And then there's like all the people that talk about this stuff, the people from the vlog squad, they'll be like, they, they, the relationship, like they think they're friends with them. And then once they're kind of like Not useless useful. to him, he, he just moves on. Yeah. It's, dude, I think you know you're dealing with the, the, the freaking cesspool, man. It's just like, <laughs> you know what I'm but saying? They're popular. I do. That's crazy to me. I don't know how they do it. They do it, man. They do it. But anyway, that's kind of a catch up of that whole situation. And we'll let you guys know about it. So uh, that's really the whole video. Hope you've learned something today. Hopefully I got it all right. So I don't get sued. But if today's your birthday, <laughs> happy birthday. Say toast to my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>